What's up, Diva? So to start this video off, we're going to go ahead and use some of this Collider Colors Bleach. And this is the blue one, which is used for the darker hair, like black, dark brown, you know, for the darker hair color. So I did pick this up at Sally's. I'm not even Collider Colors. I'm sorry, Salon Care. I'm putting it into the empty Collider Colors bottle. And I'm going to use the Salon Pro 50 Developer. Funny thing is, when you purchase the 50 Developer from Sally's, you have to have a professional um, license. So luckily, one of the young ladies that work there, um, me and her are really cool with each other. So she just went ahead and rang me up under her account. So I was glad to get this because the first one that I did purchase, which was the 50 developer, was from the local beauty supply store. So yes. So I'm just making enough of this because I have a lot of hair by the store to process. So I hate running out of bleach in the middle of doing anything. So I just make a lot of it and I don't really like it to be too thick and too pasty. I don't really like it to be too runny either, but I do like the consistency to be like, you know, kind of like in between. So I did section off the unit after I finished making it. I did section it off into like these little bantu type of knot things just to make it easier for me to bleach because honestly I'm not like a huge fan of bleaching a wig I'd rather just bleach it individual bundles but I really didn't know what I was going to do with the hair at the time and this is their virgin Brazilian deep wave hair so when it comes to deep wave hair it is a lot of hair and it's three bundles 24 22 20 and a um 18 inch closure so excuse me the 16 inch closure so I did um bleach the knot, the knot excuse me prior to this video so all I'm doing now is just working that bleach into the hair. You want to be fast about it, especially because this is a 50 developer. So as I'm doing this, I actually do feel it getting kind of warm in my hands. So this is something that you want to go really speedy on. So that's the reason why I went ahead and sectioned it off because listen, honeys, when I've done this before without sectioning the hair, it just makes it more time consuming. And then it makes me feel like, oh my God, I don't even feel like doing this no more. So I just was like, let me just section the hair off before I even get to this. So that is the reason why I'm just like going super fast plus you know i did a time last video so of course i'm speeding it up so as you know you guys this is just the same process over and over but i work it throughout the entire strands with my hands as well as the brush just to make sure that it reaches all of the strands because you do not want any missed dark spots so for this portion i'm going to go ahead and just you know use a plastic grocery bag i know it might seem kind of ghetto to some but listen i don't really like to use aluminum foil anymore because it just over processes the hair sometimes but anyway as you guys see me right here i'm just wrapping the top of it off so that way no air can get into the bag so that the hair can process but i will say this though um at the top where it is really tight at that means that there's no hair getting into this bag at all except for like the bottom is where there's more space at it suffocates the hair a little bit more which makes the hair process even faster so the top will be processed faster but i will show you guys that later on in the video so basically i'm just repeating these steps over and over because you know it's the same thing this is some pretty hair, you know what I'm saying? Um, they do have good quality hair. This is probably like the, um, I want to say like the fifth video that I've done for them since Thanksgiving. So we have worked a lot with each other. And um, yeah, I just think they have some really great hair. It's affordable. Who does not like affordable hair? And if you're looking to bleach or dye it, then you can definitely do it with theirs. Um, so as you guys see, same thing, just over and over again. Um, the 50 developer does work really well. I think it just speeds up things. And if you're not really a pro, because I'm not, I'm definitely not a pro. But if you if you don't feel comfortable using 50 developer, then don't, you know, just use 20 or 30 or 40. Um, I wasn't comfortable with using 40 for a long time, so I just used 30 only. I got tired of having to do the bleaching process more than one time. So with this once, because I don't need it too lightened. And once again, I'm just going to use the bag. Each, each kind of section has their own little bundle or own little bag, um, except for the bottom portions. I did put those in the same bag. But for the rest of the video, you know, it's just the same thing repetitively. So you guys get the gist of it. You just want to make sure that you're going super fast and getting a job done because this is 50 developer. Okay. What's up, love? So this is your girl, April. Okay. So anyway, you guys see me bleaching the hair for, you know, the source hair. It came out really nice. You know, I was kind of like, listen, I wasn't going to use like aluminum foil for the hair because I really did not want to use aluminum foil in the hair. It's not really that great all the time to use aluminum foil on, you know, like products like bleach and stuff. Um, so I try to avoid that as much as possible. Also, plastic can also, you know, damage the hair as well. But I just prefer to use a like a plastic opposed to like you know a foil so I finished the entire unit and I was kind of like undecided should I color it 
or should I just leave it like it is because I really do like it but then I was like you know what I'm gonna just color it you know whatever I used the 50 developer so at the top of each one that was where the bag ended you know and that's where most of the hair was suffocated so as you guys know when you put the hair in something it gets warm and it, it changes that's how it helps your process so what I realized um, just from doing hair over time is that the more it closed more closed in the hair is and has less chances of any type of air getting to it is the hotter it gets okay and the faster it processes so when I did the um, the top of the plastic bags meaning you know I wrapped it around just to close it in that's where the hair was more you know suffocated at that's where it was really closed in which led no hair no air to get into the the hair but at the bottom is where the hair was more freely in the bag was a lot more open space so it took a little bit more time to process well being that it's 50 developer you don't need to leave it on as long so I kind of wanted to do something different and I wanted to try it out and see if it worked and if it worked then hey it was cool I mean I was just trying something out I don't know if it was gonna work I tried it um I kind of somewhat got this look from just using like the plastic baggies that I used before and it was just by mistake it seems like everything that I do by mistake always works out so it kind of gave it like a reverse type of look so this is what it gave it like at the top is where it's the lightest. This hair turned so fast because of the 50 developer and because of the way that I had the plastic wrapped around it that you have to be really careful because if you leave it in too long and the 50 developer, you are going to fry your hair like you'll damage it. At the bottoms is where it didn't process as fast because it was loose in the bag. I also do like the way this came out. It came out so gorgeous, like seriously gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'll definitely try this out again. It, it did drop some of the curls, which is cool because I like the curls like this, hunties, y'all. Yes. But that 50 developer is no joke, like seriously, no joke. Okay, you guys, so now as you see here, this is one of my favorite hair colors, which is by Revlon. This is the bright auburn, and then I also do have the medium auburn. And this is what the hair looks like, as you guys see me show in the video. The top part is lighter. Um, I was hoping it would make a big difference in the actual red tones in the unit, but honestly, you really couldn't tell like that. I couldn't tell, but you know, hey, it is what it is. And I'm just going to take a brush and brush this through the hair, through the entire wig. Um, I do have a plastic bag on my counter so that way you know I don't ruin it but this is just a simple easy test I do leave this hair dye on the hair for about an hour and a half let me tell you I almost forgot that it was on it I honestly forget that I leave the hair dye on sometimes I'll like most of the time like I'm I always be forget one time I left it on for like two and a half three hours luckily it doesn't do damage to the hair like bleach would um, over you know after a while it doesn't process anymore so it is what it is so it's kind of safe but I did leave this on for like an hour and a half um, it wasn't too I don't think it was too but I left it on and I did totally forget all about it so I just used all four bottles of the hair dye that I got I do love the Revlon color silks even though it's super cheap some people may think that it doesn't work with honeys let me tell y'all the Revlon is actually a really good um, hair dye especially for two dollars and ninety two cents at Walmart your local Walmart you can definitely check them out the next color that I will be using is like the blonde color in it I have used that before but I'm going to go ahead and purchase some because I do plan on dyeing some more hair and I want to see how the blonde gets but this one yeah it's like about an hour and a half to two hours is how long I left it on for there we go say hi hi how are you? Hello. It's me, Tinky Man. Me, Tinky Man. Eating Ritos. Eating Ritos. Like I do. Like I do. Rito, Ritos. Rito, Ritos. Rito, Ritos. Rito, Ritos. Rito, Ritos. Give me a Rito. Put a Rito in my mouth. No, I want a bigger one. Mmm. It's good, right? It's good. I know. You want to take a gummy? Oh, I got washing my hands and stuff. See, you put the hair dye. Oh. Mm hmm. I'm going to go. I, I am going to go. We never read on my mouth. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 
Let's go, Jelly. Hey. I love you. Okay guys, so this is day four and the unit is all done. So the curls did drop a lot in this unit um, because it is a deep wave. I don't really like it to be too tight anyway because the tighter it is, it's just really, really big and I just want it to be loose. I actually try to make this unit look like one that I already have, which you guys have seen me wear and maybe, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I have worn it in my social media. I have worn it on my Real Talk and I also wore it on a recent video about my keloid scar. So I do love that wig that I made. Um, it wasn't originally made to be all burned. I actually had it just like the regular bleach color for a couple of years and I didn't wear it so I decided to do auburn like this auburnish red color because I really do like this color it's very like you know spicy pumpkin spicy you know it's a very trending color so I was asked to do a tutorial on how I made the wig so this was like a great opportunity to just show and you know show you guys how I made that particular wig this particular color so same style same kind of like hair texture and all that good stuff and I'm just going to take my irresistible wand you guys know how much I rave about the irresistible wand the sapphire collection three eight in one wand system okay i love this because there's seven different barrels all right and so this was the smallest one and like i said the curls did drop somewhat in the unit so that's the reason why i'm curling it because it is a deep wave but underneath in the back where it was really light at it did um it did make the hair a little bit lighter so you can see that difference and that's what i was kind of wanting to show you guys like i didn't want it to be a little lighter though i should have did it in different specs or throughout the unit but you do see it in some but just not as popping on camera but for the most part it's a closure wig you know it's on a mesh dome spandex cap like normal i just sell three combs in this unit um and um yeah really super easy i did use all of the entire hair and that's about it i didn't cut any of the hair or anything like that this is super easy the way i curl it i just take the hair as you guys see right here and i just wrap and throw my arm around it kind of like and then i just pull it right off so you don't really leave the hair on the wand as soon as you get to the bottom depending on the length of the hair is when you just take it right off as you guys see here i don't leave the hair on the wand for any time as soon as i'm done wrapping at the bottom i just pull it right off because i want them to be kind of like loose waves but it all depends on how you curl it or how you twirl the hair around so I kind of like tw twist the hair around the barrel so that way it doesn't give me curls but it also gives me like you know what I'm saying like a loose wave and I'll just pick them apart so for this part since it's a closure I'm going to go ahead and pull the front perimeter of my hair out now you guys know I am very skeptical about my edges because listen honeys um I told you guys I'm trying to work on my edges so I don't really pull any hair out on the sides right there I'm just going to tuck some of my hair back in because that is not about to be pulled on and I do have in my hair for this particular video I didn't even share that with you guys but I do have that um even New York colored edge tamer so it's a dark brown color that I have in my hair to make my hair look a lot fuller on the edges as well as somewhat on the top too so I do like it, but ladies, let me tell y'all, the jar is like massively small. For $8, you would not believe the size of the jar. It's like the size of like um, a little bit bigger than the Anastasia pomade. Um, eyebrow pomade I was so disappointed when I got that in the mail I really should have just started reading more um, to know what size product I was getting but you really don't need a lot of it but it does work there's a lot of different companies that make that but yeah it does work so I was glad when I didn't really have to use any of my topic so this hair turned out super duper cute um, I did need to fix my hair a little bit in the front but it's very full and pretty and sexy and I love the way the color turned out you can definitely check out the store they have their own website and also if you are a new customer make sure you register you can save five dollars at time of checkout and i will post the coupon code below they're having like this huge mother's day sale so you know if you got a mama everybody do but if you feel like you know you owe somebody something special especially the female version of somebody special meaning your wife your girlfriend your sister your auntie whatever it is mother's day so make sure you know if she's into wigs or hair make sure you go to dinosaur and pick her up something pretty they got some really affordable hair so you won't go broke and this is the first unit that i talked about um they kind of do look very very similar so yes you guys i love you stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe all the info is in the box and i'll see you guys soon on another come on a soon to come video bye